Hey Diego, it's Stephanie here. Thank you so much for sending in your last essays. Oh my goodness, they are ridiculously good. Okay, seriously, seriously impressive. I just said to my daughter, your essay is so good, I don't even understand it. <laughs> but, um, you comment about your exam, okay, possible grade. I'm not going to make any predictions, that's not what I do. I am deeply cautious always. Um, and I'm very superstitious, which means that I don't ever make a prediction before something happens. I think that can be like dangerous. We say in English, don't count your chickens before they are hatched. You probably have a similar expression in your language. Um, but that just means don't jump ahead. Take everything uh, slowly. Okay. Uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, this is a really, really good letter and the kind of letter that one might actually have to write in real life. I like it because it's a very realistic sort of task. Um, I very much like how you've chosen this building as well. Um, I will put here capital letters, public library. Okay. So perfect introduction. First of all, I would like you to know that I fully understand the budgetary limitations and the austerity plan this administration is enforcing. This is a very nice concession at the beginning and then you're going to go in hard but cutting funds that traditionally have been directed towards this traditional building i would like to put here and the vital service it offers our neighborhood so i don't know if this um library is still kind of active or not but let's assume maybe it is um could be seen as a severe drawback to our culture and its traditions Okay, no, all right, our culture and traditions. Okay, I'm with you. Um, yes. Um, and future generations. If you think of children leading, using the library, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's quite long anyway, so don't worry. Furthermore, for more than a century, this building has been the cultural symbol of this community. Good. Um, yes, and demolishing it without making a final economic effort could be seen as an attack to our local history very good since the decision to now we've got a lot of demolish 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 can we have another one uh redevelop i mean assuming maybe they're going to build houses or something the library took us by surprise i would like to suggest that the council give us the community a final opportunity to find resources to keep to keep it I would, you don't need to repeat this building because you've got that quite a lot. Okay, so just use a simple pronoun to keep it intact and working. For this very purpose, some neighbours have mentioned the idea of starting a crowdfunding plea. Excellent for this purpose. Other old, uh, don't use punctuation. I'm really cautious about punctuation in essays because you can always use a connecting word instead. And here you should be using the connecting word um, for this purpose. or other alternatives we are considering or another okay. uh, another alternative we are considering is facilitating the rental of premises for private events nice okay excellent excellent please let me know your earliest convenience if this community effort would be might be sufficient but more time to uh, you don't reunite funds, you just have to raise simply funds and save the old capital letter, capital letter. Amazing, really, really lovely, fantastic letter, totally great. Uh, now, this is very interesting, isn't it? Wow, um, very, very good indeed. I love how your arguments are really on point, uh, they are relevant, they are good, you develop them really well. It's so true. The kind of progression in your essays, I've just been looking back on some of your other ones. You really nailed it. Uh, that means you've totally got it on the organization of the essay, but it is equally, I think you found your voice at the same time. Uh, so you've kind of used it. It's there for you, but you've also kind of shown your own style as well, which is really, really good. So here we go. The issue of promoting business relocation from large cities to local regions has risen in. Now, be careful here. Don't just put popularity because you know the word. Think what will be most suitable. So for me, it's not about popularity here. It's about relevance or importance. Because these are serious matters. Since the advent of 
and gentrification, good word, in large cities. Some governments promote this relocation as a winning strategy for everybody. However, evidence suggests serious limitations. Excellent, excellent. Now, um, headquarters to, smaller to a smaller city, there is an increment. Now, an increment, you have to use this as an adjective, not a noun here. Incremental increase. Okay, so make it into an adjective, just add the adjective ending there. Increase in local jobs, but with an economic cost for the company. Okay, perfect. On the one hand, there's ample evidence that when a company relocates its premises to, oh, okay, in is fair, sorry, a new community, the regional employment, uh, you don't need the, just take that out, because you're talking about regional employment in general here. In general, you don't need the article. This is the main benefactor. This is because communities already have infrastructure such as roads, internet, and qualified professionals, but they sometimes lack. But they sometimes lack. Now, not lack of, because you're using lack as a verb. Sometimes lack worldwide businesses. So that just goes. You just don't need it. Take it out um, to employ their people. Good. Um, Evidence to support the link between new companies and job creation is found in a recent empirical. Ah, don't use a. I was just thinking, sorry, amazing passive here. Really nice. Um, in recent empirical research published by Harvard, the article suggests that across the US, multinationals in technology services are opening offices in medium sized towns, and the consequence has been economic growth. Um, okay, significant of the. Economic growth of these towns, plural towns. Uh, I wouldn't use via, I'd use through. And via, I mean, yes, of course it exists, but because it's an academic essay, I wouldn't use it. Therefore, it's possible to assert this political measure is effective to reactivate local communities and combat gentrification. Whoa! Almost like you're reading, writing for a newspaper here. This is so amazing. On the other hand, there are some negatives that cannot be ignored. The most evident of them is that this relocation is mostly profitable for new branches and not for companies. Uh, now, okay, I think you should change this round. Not for well-established companies. Well, you definitely should. The adjective should come here before the noun. Okay? This is because the tax reduction offered by the government is not enough. Because, okay, this is because, now be careful here not to make big statements. This is because often, comma, oh, sorry, hang on. This is because often the tax reduction offered by the government is not enough to compensate the relocation. Yes, good. Um, be careful here. This is one of my real things. Academic hedging, stand back from this essay. Don't give me big statements without, you need your modal verbs, yeah, or you're just qualifiers. Just stand back a little bit. Don't make big general statements that we don't know if they're true all over the world, yeah. Um, yes, so for example, it is possible to deduct from the same, now, which Economist article? You haven't mentioned an Economist article yet, so that's, you can use that, like the same Economist article, if you've already quoted it, but I can't see you quoting it in this bit, so um, deduct from a recent, would have, article in The Economist. You would put it that way, yeah? <clears throat> that. Most of the qualified workers already have. Yeah. Okay, most of the is talking about a group of qualified workers. Um, so, because you haven't mentioned a group of them already, you could just say just generally, most qualified workers already have family and emotional roots in their original cities. Good, that is unlikely for them. Again, I'd use a pronoun, you don't need to repeat that. So I, so instead of work like this, I would go them. That, that just works on the cohesion. Um, so using pronouns, which you do very, very well, is a cohesive device. It makes the essay hang together nicely and it's easier to read. Um, makes it unlikely for them to abandon, that's okay, oh, sorry, didn't mean to highlight that, abandon their city, yeah, okay, so them, yeah, that's okay as well, because, 
Yeah. And for companies, it's extremely challenging. Don't use TAF as too informal. To hire people with the same specialization in the new location. Yes, good. Finally, it's possible to believe that this arrangement is only beneficial for new companies and not for experienced workers. Yeah, so it's just like a small niche it would work for, but not for everybody. Good paragraph. Um, I just needed to unravel that a little bit, but you are good, hopefully, with those corrections. To conclude from the aforementioned arguments, it's evident that government's policy to promote businesses relocation to, now there you do need to, local communities greatly favours, put the, um, again, adverb before the verb, regional employment, but this is only, but this is only profitable for a limited amount of new businesses, good, and not for don't put long time, that can go, not for workers who cannot migrate. Okay, furthermore, now, this is such a strong conclusion. I'm not sure you need a prediction. Uh, I don't think it necessarily adds anything, but if you want one. So furthermore, it is possible to predict that um, similar initiatives will raise in popularity. Now, again, we're not talking popularity, we're talking importance. So how about maybe predict that this issue will continue to challenge many communi communities as space in town centres is so limited or something. Um, but I don't think you necessarily need that. This all is a fantastic essay. Um, if you can do this with like no help, no nothing in 40 minutes, amazing. So before your exam, what I would do is look at the some of the vocab, some of the, uh, when we've given you tasks, sometimes there's collocations, vocabulary that we give you. Make sure you write down all that vocabulary and get really familiar with it because it's the vocabulary that's going to really help you score well. Um, fantastic. Um, please tell me which, why are you taking this exam? What are you trying to get? Are you moving somewhere? Is it immigration? Is it a job? I'd be really interested to know. Um, great stuff to you again.